Hello everybody, before we get to your forecast, I just do want to update everyone on what is going on with my apprenticeship program training. We are now at 21.9% of goal. Thank you to everybody who has donated this week. I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And I know that we will get there, that all the money will come in at the right time, as it's supposed to, and that um, we will have the interactions that we need to um, when the time is right. So looking forward to getting to meet and work with all of you, looking forward to being able to give you my gift back to you, that Reiki, and um, just really excited that things are just moving forward. So on to your readings hello there Aries thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of August 15th through the 21st on Monday what you guys have showing up is sorry <laughs> for a second there there was a little different something that showed up on the screen and I was like were we not recording already darn it <laughs> So apparently we were. So anyway, for Monday, what you guys have coming up, Aries, is the Magician. The Magician card just tells me that Monday is going to be a really good day for you to manifest the things that you want. So taking what you have and making it into what you want. This might be a good day to go in and talk to the boss about a raise or a bonus or maybe putting you on to um, a new project that you would like to be a part of or um, something along those lines. This can also be a day about manifesting something into your life that you've wanted for a long time and now that's starting to show up. Um, whenever you look at it, it's a very auspicious card. It means you're going to have a good day and you're going to be bringing something about that you have been wanting in your life and probably that you've been wanting in your life for a while. All right, so let's move on to Tuesday. Aries, here you have the Nine of Swords showing up in reverse. And the Nine of Swords in reverse is just telling me that there was something that had uh, been having you stressed out to the point you probably were having a hard time focusing on your everyday responsibilities, uh, probably also having a hard time sleeping. Now something has happened with that situation, so you're no longer so focused on it. You're no longer so stressed out about it. Either something has happened inside the situation itself that has changed so that um, it's just not triggering you the way that it was before, or you've done some healing on either a psychological or a spiritual level to make it so that that doesn't trigger you some more, even though the um, actual situation may still be exactly the same. Either way that that happens, it's a relief not to be under that much stress. So I'm glad to see that come in for you on Tuesday. Now on Wednesday, we have the Judgment card coming up. And the Judgment card um, can really talk about rebirth. So this is rebirth of something old. This can be a project that maybe you had kind of uh, put to the back of the closet, so to speak, or something that you had just, you know, you maybe started it and it just wasn't good timing. You had too much other stuff on your plate. This can be pulling that out and getting going with it again. Um, this can also be a situation where you're making a decision that affects not only you but several other people as well. And so you're trying to make... Uh, you're trying to use good judgment. You're trying to make as good a quality decision as you can so that as many people as possible will be affected in a positive way by whatever decision that you are making. So either way, that can come up either way. And so for some of you, it'll come up one way and for some of you, another Aries. Then looking at Thursday, what we have is the Two of Swords showing up in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse is procrastination about a decision. And this can be a decision about some kind of inner turmoil. You could have a couple of opposing views that you're holding within yourself and you're trying to figure out which one is actually correct. But this can also be turmoil between um, a couple of people and you're, they're kind of asking you to choose one over the other or a couple of companies or a couple of groups of people. Um, but there is... Um, there's something here about a decision that you're trying to make and you're trying to be as fair as you possibly can with this decision. When the card comes in in reverse like this, you're having trouble really making that decision. And it may be that you're not getting as much information as you would like to to feel like you can make an education, ed educated decision here. But because you are having trouble making that decision, 
it's just something that you're procrastinating with, you're putting off, you're trying to wait till the last minute to really come down and give an answer on whatever this is on Thursday. Friday, what we have coming up is the Nine of Coins. Nine of Coins just tells me that um, there's some point in your day on Friday where you're feeling you're you're feeling like um, you have things in your life overall pretty much the way that you want them, and you're pretty happy with um, what you've done with your life up to this point. Now, of course, there are always things that we want to improve, we want to change. We're always expanding and growing. At least, hopefully, we are. And so. I'm not saying that everything is exactly the way you want it and you've come to your destination, but you're just feeling like what you've done so far is good, even if it's just a start. On Saturday, we do have the Eight of Cups showing up. And the Eight of Cups is something that tells me that you have a situation or possibly even a relationship in your life. You've really taken a good hard look at it and you're realizing that that is pulling so much energy and effort away from you that as it's doing that you're just feeling totally depleted and it's time to let go of whatever that is that has been holding you back or has been depleting you and so on Saturday I see you really making the decision to cut your losses and walk away from that in search of something that or a situation or a relationship that's not going to make you feel depleted on Sunday Aries, what you have is the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man just tells me that you're going to be having a quiet day Sunday. You're going to be doing some contemplation, sort of looking at how to move forward with some situation that you've been feeling kind of stuck on. And so when we have the Hanged Man come up, it's a good card because it does show taking the time to really think about this, maybe even meditate on it. On it. And to me, when I see the Hanged Man, I know also that um, the answer is on its way in. Maybe we're not quite hearing this answer on Sunday, but I think a lot of you will be. Um, and if you don't get the answer on Sunday, I feel like you'll be getting the answer within the next couple of days. You'll start to see and understand what you can do with the situation to move forward with it, whatever it is that you're focused on on Sunday that you're trying to figure out how you can move forward with that situation. Okay? All right. So Aries, thank you so much. That is your week. Thank you for stopping by, for hanging out, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. For those of you that I don't see in between now and then for our reading, I'll see all of the rest of you the next time around. Everyone have a happy, safe, peaceful, joyful week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass it on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes I've been accepted into the master program but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that um, I need to raise another three thousand dollars to get myself into the program and so that's where you guys come in um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, 
But if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no do donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. And um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.